so today is Jerry's first vet appointment. We're gonna see how he's doing. He's been with us for a couple days. Um, so I don't think, oh my gosh, can I come over here? Okay. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go in with him because we haven't been able to all year. Um, I'm really hoping that it's changed <laughs> and I can go in since we last went to the vet, but probably not. So we'll see what happens. veterinary clinic in Lincoln Nebraska and we absolutely love it they are phenomenal they do a wonderful job caring for us and our pets we've put down two cats while here it was heartbreaking but they did amazing we see dr. Kate most of the time and she's fabulous we highly recommend her and honestly anyone at the Bonder veterinary clinic they do an amazing amazing job and our animals are always happy so we rode over here like this the whole way Just sitting in my lap, just hanging out. I think he's pretty tired from playing with Norman <laughs> because he is just chilling. He's not shaking or anything, so I don't think he's upset or or anxious. I think he's just just sleepy. Okay, so I couldn't take him in. I'm really sad about that. I wanted to go in with him for his first time. Poor baby. It's just heartbreaking when you can't go in with him. But like I said, they do a fantastic job, so I'm not worried at all. Um, he'll be in great hands. So I did ask about, um, he has quite a bit of dandruff, so I was just asking about that. But the tech told me that it's mostly a puppy thing. Um, and then they're just going to look over to see when he's due for his shots and deworming and all that good stuff. So yeah. My bubby. Good boy. Poor little Jerry is passed out. <laughs> He's not very happy. But hopefully he'll sleep, have a good nap, so I can get some studying done. But I wanted to show you. Vondra gave us this little puppy pack. His heartworm medication and his flea and tick medication, a little pamphlet. And it was all free because it was his very first visit. So get started on the right foot with Vondra. There we go. All right. Well, I'm going to wake up this little cutie and take him inside. <laughs> and then hopefully he'll just nap for a little bit. Look who's parked up. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Norman wants to say hi, too. Hi, Norman. Oh, big stretch, big stretch. We, oh, yes, we got a, we got rub. Yes. Guys, these two are seriously the cutest little duo. They are best friends. And they play all day, but I think Jer Jer's a little, a little too tired. So this is my current setup that I have here um, for Puppy Watch. Uh, so you can see here I have my bed that I sleep on. I did this with Norman, but I did it in our room last time. But this time I don't want to disturb Norman waking up in the middle of the night going potty with Jerry. So I just set up his little kennel right here next to Norman's kennel. Um, and then I just set up my bed, which is just pretty much every single blanket that I own, um, piled on top of each other. And I just pile them all here with the comforter to sleep at night. And then you have obviously a sleeping mask because I'm sensitive to light apparently. And I don't sleep all well when there's light. And then my computer and reading for today. Um, so I can get all my homework done. And then slippers on top of the couch because dogs like to chew slippers. Ashley's going on in the background. So, can't go wrong there. Mr. Gerald's exploring after our little vet visit. Another thing you'll notice is I have toys all over the place. Number one, because I'm lazy and I'm not getting a ton of sleep right now. So, I'm just leaving it. Number two, because when I'm sitting here trying to study, like I've been studying for the last... I don't know, six, seven hours before our vet visit. Um, I just leave toys out everywhere and then hopefully 
like this, they just stumble upon a toy they wanna play with and they start playing and then they don't bug me as much because they can entertain themselves. But it's way, way easier to have Norman and Jerry together than it was to have Norman just by himself. So if you guys are, you have a dog and you're wondering if you should get another dog but you had a horrible puppy experience, get another puppy because your older puppy, Norman's just over a year, a year and a few months, um, will help with that. Also, Norman was getting super lonely whenever we were at work or gone. And so it's really nice to have Jerry here because Norman's just been in love with his little brother. Um, and it's made a huge difference in his happiness. So definitely get a second dog if you are wondering if you should or not. Norman has to be center of attention here. <laughs> now, if we walk over here, excuse the ginormous mess that's on our peninsula. I have the printer here because for some reason it doesn't print when I have it back in my office, which is very unfortunate. Um, and then a bunch of Robert's things that are just sitting here. So, but we have Jerry's little setup. Um, here with his water bowl and then food bowl that I put up here so Norman doesn't eat it. Um, and then we have a raised food and water dish for Norman so Jerry can't get to it. Nighttime station, I have a jacket here so whenever I go out to the backyard with Jerry, I am prepared, I can be warm. Um, so I have that. Mr. Jerry, Jerry, just hanging out. <laughs> hi, buddy. You always have to come say hi, huh? Get it. He's so tired. Oh, get it. You get it. All right, that is my little puppy setup in my dirty home. I'll clean eventually, probably beginning of April. It's okay, we're all human. And we got a lot going on right now. And what's the point of cleaning if I have this little guy and Norman bringing in a bunch of leaves every single day. I sweep once a day. I'll mop at some point. I don't know when. <laughs> I hate mopping. Does anyone else hate mopping? I just, I don't know. It's not fun for me. I love how the floors look afterwards, but I just don't like doing it because there's cats and dogs in the way. And then I can't walk in certain spots and then I end up just walking through it. And it's just, I don't know. Adulting problems that don't really matter, but. You wanna go outside? I always have to beat him to the stairs because he can go down the stairs, but not super well. Oh my gosh. I always put my hand down here to catch him if he falls. Coming down. Oh, good boy. Come on. You can do it. I don't know why you have that in your mouth, but. Oh, good boy. He's learning so much faster than Norman did, which is fine. We all learn at different speeds, but Norman would not come down the stairs for like weeks. And this is only Jerry's what, like third day with us and he's already coming down the stairs. He came down the half of the stairs, um, like on day one. So he's doing pretty great. Come on, bye-bye. Oh, good boy. Good boy! Good boy! You did it!
Very. Are you drinking? Don't worry, I already took the water out. It's safe. It's okay. It's okay to drink. There's no buggies or anything in there. So. I know, your brother too, Dad. We're gonna throw that away today, aren't we? To get rid of this thing, so you know what? I'm just gonna dump it. Oh my goodness. Get all this out of there. This is why I come and watch Jerry every time he's out here because I don't want him getting this stuff. Also, Jerry is just too tiny and I'm worried that an owl or a hawk or something is gonna come get him. So, until he gets a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's gone. You going potty? He's pooping, so we don't need to video record that. <laughs> Go. I would say that Norman and Jerry get along just fine. Although Norman wants him to be a little bit bigger so he can play. This is my absolute favorite thing to watch, is Jerry chasing Norman. It is hilarious. Norman just runs circles around him and it cracks me up. What are you guys doing? Hey, silly. You get him. You get him. Oh. <laughs> Norman I think he's done. Oh my god, Norman, no, no.